This is a short video on how to load the 2 and 7 8 inch 10 gauge or the short 10. This will be done on a mech Versa mech press with a 2 and 7 8 inch short kit installed. I'm using federal 3 and a half inch unfired hulls, trimming them with a homemade shell trimmer. I am using Winchester Western 209 primers. 32 grains of IMR 7625, an SP10 wad with about a quarter inch of fiber filler wad, 16 gauge, and that's sold by Ballistic Products, and in this case an ounce and a quarter of number six lead shot. The hull trimmer is nothing more than a 5 8 inch dowel with an X-Acto blade and a wood screw used as a set screw so you can set the depth of the cutter as each hull is different. Remingtons differ from Winchester which differ from Federal. I am set up to cut three and a half inch Federals to two and seven eighths inch Federals. Cutting a three and a half inch hull to two and seven eighths it only takes a few seconds. You'll see this goes right through it like the proverbial hot knife through butter. Voila! A two and Now we're going to take our trimmed hull, put it in the mech Versamech, set up for two and seven eighths inch loading. This is the D-Prime station, which also resizes the brass hull. We want to get a Winchester 209 primer and put that in the priming station and then we prime the hull we move it to the next station where we drop a 32 grains of IMR 7625 we put a SP10 wad and we seat it then I take a half inch ballistic products 16 gauge fiber wad. I've already split one with my thumbnail into two equal halves, which is what is needed in this load to get the shot column at the right height. I put that in the shot cup and now I dispense one and a quarter ounce of lead six and this is ready to go to the final stations. Now we take the shell that's in progress and we go to the call it the pre-crimping station and then we go to the final crimp station and voila we have a two and seven eighths inch ten gauge or short so there you have it a nearly perfectly formed 2 and 7 8 inch length 10 gauge. This is a Sherman Bell load that I've used. It is low pressure, designed for shooting in Damascus and twist steel barrel guns. Uh, don't do that unless your gun has been checked out as being sound and capable of shooting these loads. But you really don't need much. Uh, a supply of three and a half inch hulls, a homemade shell trimmer, some SP10 wads, some 16 gauge or 20 gauge fiber filler wads, appropriate powder, in this case IMR 7625, and a, uh, this happens to be a mech single stage Versa mech. You can see the short kit that's installed on the left side that changes the loader from three and a half inch to uh, two and seven eighths inch. And I have a standard shot bar in there with a bushing to meter out the appropriate amount of 7625 and dispense an ounce and a quarter of lead shot. So I hope this helps uh, debunk or take away some of the mystery of loading uh, the short 10. And good luck.